on this episode of Flowers Uncut. I got a phone call from a charity fundraiser called Sanctuary for Families. Matt and I are designing the flowers for a huge charity event here in New York City. I don't care if the bases are broken. Just go and get some more. The pressure is on. <laughs> My name is Jeff Latham. I work with flowers. But I am not your typical florist. That's Matt. I'm the beauty, he's the business. We've conquered Europe with our style, and now we've come to take on New York. So, what do you got planned for us today, mister? I got a phone call from a charity fundraiser called Sanctuary for Families. So, it's a charity that helps families who were victim of domestic violence. Okay. Even though Jeff is known in Paris for doing huge, extravagant events, he also does a lot of charity work across Europe. So when I heard about Sanctuary for Families, I knew it would be interesting. Hello. Hello. How are you? Welcome to Sanctuary for Families. Nice to I'm meet Sarah. You. So we serve domestic violence victims in the city. We provide counseling, legal services, shelter, and economic stability programs to our clients. Zero Tolerance is the name of our benefit, and it is our biggest fundraiser of the year. Okay. So and we'd love for you guys to help us create just the giving spirit so that our <laughs> guests will give and help our Amen, clients sister. as much as we can. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. No, it's very inspiring. <laughs> okay. We had a small giving tree last year, mm -hmm. which we've now taken to become the centerpieces of this year. On, On the, the table. table. On every table. With a larger one in the cocktail area. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. The theme for this event is the giving tree. The staff wants one large tree with donation cards hanging from it in the entrance to the ballroom and smaller ones on each individual table. So no matter where they go in the room that evening, they'll be able to pull an envelope down and donate. How many people usually attend your events? We seat over a thousand for dinner and then we host <gasps> a thousand. On. I know, Hold right? Hold on to the baby table. Yeah. <laughs> There's a thousand people coming to the dinner. 10 people per table, that's over 100 tables. So let's go visit the space and then we'll go from there. Okay. Wow. This is the entrance. This area and as well as over to the left, this is all the cocktail room. Mm -hmm. Over here is where we're planning to have the big giving tree. It'll be the first thing that they see when they walk in. And then you have 100 tables from here on down. Exactly. I've designed huge budget events for the Queen of England and some of the biggest celebrities in the world. And even though charity events like this don't have huge budgets, it's really important for me to give back, even if it means money comes out of my own pocket. I'm willing to cover all the charges for my side's labor, um, any vases that we need to, to get. That would be amazing. Yes. Is Unreal. that the deal? Unreal. Yeah. And you have a deal? That is awesome. A thousand thank okay. yous. So how are we going to really design these tables? What about live trees? I mean, do you think that we On can the afford that? Yeah. We get like a very simple, you know, terracotta pot. And then up here, something that's very like topiary-esque. We figure we have hydrangea. We can kind of put them there. Then I think that we should do donation cards down here, donation envelope, or maybe we can put donation envelopes up here. That's cool. What, what do you think about the big giving tree? Because that's their like big in this area Same. here? Yeah. So what I'm envisioning for the giving tree is, I really want to bring in some really beautiful mirrored cubes where we can elevate the vases, have some on the floor, have some on the cubes, have really beautiful long branches with colorful ribbon hanging from them, with green, with yellow, with orange, and so it really creates a moment that's very fresh and new as people enter the room. Those are our main components, mm -hmm. and uh, let's go from there. Okay, cool. Come in. Sarma, what's going on, babe? Hi. Sarma is a great friend of mine. She owns Pure Food and Wine Restaurant here in New York City. It specializes in organic, pure food. So how are things at the restaurant? 
Really good. Really yeah? good. Yeah, a pile of petals reminds me. Um, my chef Neil has actually been working with edible flowers. Oh, what? Seriously? Yeah, I think it's going to be a really exciting menu, and we're actually going to design a dinner party around it. Around the food and flowers? Around, yeah, we're going to have a, oh, a little wow. dinner with edible flowers and all of the courses, and we're going to do a flower yeah. cocktail. Yeah, you should oh, come. Cool. How about we do a deal? If he can teach me about food and flowers, I'll do the flowers for the dinner party. That's that's definitely a deal. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a deal. I don't care if the bases are broken. Just go and get some more. And you're using the ribbon as a damn necklace. This isn't a fashion show, it's a flower show. Matt and I have a huge charity event for Sanctuary for Families in a couple days. But first, I'm meeting with a local chef here in New York City that works with edible flowers. The garden is amazing. Wow! So we got all these flowers. I'm very excited. What's that flower? That's I, a I, French marigold. What a, can I try one? Absolutely. It's, it's good oh, it's in really salads. Good. Yeah. yeah, it's very kind of bittersweet. Mm -hmm. And this one is what? This is called crystal lettuce. Wow, and it's, it's a special beautiful. kind of lettuce. It's actually a succulent. That one's very pretty too, but also has quite a lot of flavor. It's very lemony, you know, almost like uh, purslane if you ever had that. And this one I've seen before. This is like a squash flower. This or... is actually a, a baby cucumber with the okay. flower still attached. Hmm, um, that one's good. Here you have the nasturtiums. Okay. And those are really spicy. I feel like a turtle <laughs> eating all these plants and things. I've been working with flowers for 16 years. I had no idea there were so many flowers that you could eat, and they actually tasted kind of good. I was thinking for our dinner party, where yeah. you're gonna, of course, do the flowers, we could have a little ravioli. Oh, cool. And I'm gonna put that together, and you can take a look and see how we can put the flowers on that plate. Okay. This is where I was hoping you would come in. I mean, obviously, we have a lot of beautiful flowers. I would probably go with either the pansies or the snapdragons, because I love the deep purple color. Absolutely. That's it, you really? know, it's just a simple... I'm all for that. And someone might have told you, I like a little cocktail every now and then. Oh, yeah. So maybe you're gonna show me, like, some cocktail that you can do that's very raw and organic with the flour. Absolutely. Some organic sake. Okay. So here's a, a prickly pear juice. We okay. make this here. We're just gonna take a little bit of lavender flour. A little bit of fresh mint flowers. Ooh. It's amazing. So uh, we're just gonna muddle this a little bit, get the flower essences in there. All right. Put a little in there. Wow, the color is intense. Oh, it's so beautiful. The color of this floral martini is so beautiful. I would love to base my design for the dinner around the color of this cocktail. All right. Cheers. Thanks, man. You got any more in there? <laughs> Nice to meet you. How are you? I am really touched by all the work Sanctuary for Families does for women and children who are in abusive situations. So today it was very important for me to share my love of flowers with the women this charity has helped. Today it's all about bouquets. It's important that you get all of your heads kind of at the same length on the top. And then when you have two or three different kinds of flowers, then you just keep them very separate. You got it like this. We have that. And the fun thing is we all kind of work together and kind of get into it. A great tip is, though, this ribbon was $15. And it's a great ribbon because it's got some wire in there. You can iron it out flat again. So you can reuse it and you have it for years. And you're using the ribbon as a damn necklace. This isn't a fashion show, it's a flower show. Meeting with these women at the sanctuary was really an amazing and touching experience for me. So I really want to make this event as special as possible. That's it. That's all the time we have. Ah. I'm very, very proud of you. Keep hope and love in your hearts. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Today is the dinner at Pure Food and Wine. I'm designing flowers for this dinner party, and we're going to be eating dishes with edible flowers. So we chose these beautiful gold vases. They're actually gold-plated from the inside. When we fill these with water, 
the gold plating will actually start to flake off, so to say, from buying a new vase every time. Just grab these, these plastic, and you put them inside. You just kind of push them down to the bottom, and we can use the vases again. Let's go get the flowers, and we'll do it. For this dinner party, I'm using pink hydrangea to match the prickly pear martini that I made with Neil a couple days ago. We can pop all the heads off of those hydrangeas, and we're going to fill the top of this table with them. I think it's nice is that not all the focus is on the table here. There should be some black ribbon out there. All the roses you have, take eight of them, tie them with a piece of black ribbon, and then every person will have a bouquet of, of pink roses. That's it, done deal. We're out of here. I'm really happy with the way things turned out. Now it's time to get the party 